Right everyone, Wag Collector here. Right, it's going to do a review and demo of the bolts you can get from Custom Pistol Bolts on Facebook. So these are the bolts you get. They're approximately 27 centimeters long, about seven and a half mil diameter, 235 grain, and you can buy six of them, the standard bolts, for I think it's 23 pound, and that includes the postage. They fit a broadhead on, and will probably fit most broadheads as far as I'm aware, because these are long enough to stick out the end of the uh, crossbows. So yeah, that's the package you would get. You'd get six. You don't. The broadheads are extra. They're one pound fifty each. What you get in the standard package is six bolts without the broadhead. So today's video will be some tests to see how accurate they are, how well they perform. How well they shoot out the crossbows. So in the whole package you get the six bolts, not the broadhead, and you also get a little thing to spread out the front sight if you want to keep that on, because that will need opening up to allow for the flights or the veins to go through. Yeah, and you get some wax and some other little things. So it's a good package for £23. So to shoot these perfectly through the crossbows, you may need to do a couple of mods on the crossbow. They're all simple mods though. It's either taking off the front sight or opening up the front sight with the stuff that's supplied. And to make these sit right back in against the string, you need to take off the anti-dry fire of the crossbow. This is a very simple thing to do though. You literally just push a pin out and it'll drop out, which I'll show you how to do in a second. Right, so the anti-dry fire is just here. Here's the pin you push out. So because there's a spring under that, I recommend getting a bag, placing it under, and then you'll see the pin there. Make sure the uh, safety is back as well. And it is quite difficult at first, but I notice once it goes, it goes. So I press that right out, let that fall into the bag. The anti-dry fire now is just here. Hook that back and out. And then you should be able to just slide this bag out. And then all your bits will be in there. So there you have the pin, the spring, and the anti-dry fire. Those can easily be inserted back in at a later date. Once you've removed the anti-dry fire, you just want to pull up on the spring a little bit. Get that to come up a bit, so it's not putting so much pressure on the bolt. And then you either want to put on at the front sight the spreader to open it up or just take it off completely. Since I've got a red dot sight on mine, I'm just going to take mine off.
Right, so there you go. That was the tests with the custom bolts using the Armex Tomcat 2 with the um, dry fire removed. Removing the dry fire, as I mentioned earlier, doesn't affect the actual safety. In fact, it means you can put it on and off at any time now, which uh, before you couldn't. Um, so yeah, you lose a little safety feature there, but um, you know, it does enable you to use bigger bolts. So as you can see it performed well. Those tests were approximately 12 meters away, so that's a reasonably good distance. Standing shooting as well, and reasonably quick. So although my accuracy wasn't full on bullseye, I was hitting a target, you know, about four inches, five inches round, every time, consistently, at a reasonably quick pace as well. So yeah, they are accurate, they perform well, and they are well made. You know, there's nothing wrong with any of these bolts, even the one that was shot into the wood. And you may think the penetration in that wood wasn't all that much, but then that's with a field tip. Field tips never really go in that deep anyway. I could always adjust these tips, or put some different ones on, that will penetrate better. Um, field tips never really penetrate wood, because they're designed, field tips are designed to stop, rather than carry on going, if that makes sense. These, these are designed this shape, so when they hit a target, they won't keep going through, because they're target points, you know, field tip points. Um, especially made tips for penetrate targets will go through. But the bolt, whichever one it was, it was one of these green ones I think, there's not a single piece of damage on that. The head is still completely solid. So yeah, really well made. So the link for these is in the description if you want them. £23 including postage for the six bolts and the accessories you get with it. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And I'll see you in the next one.